One thing that a lot of the the priests and deacons who have come in on the show have talked about are the pranks that happen in the seminary. Oh, yes, the pranks, the <laughs> pranks, the pranks. Yes. Could you share with us some pranks that you may have not necessarily been involved in, uh -huh. but maybe have witnessed? Did anybody tell you about what I did at St. Mary's? Is that what you're asking the question? No, no. Oh, okay. All right. Well, this is one of those uh, pranks that can only be pulled every four years. Okay. Because it's one of those things that people would remember. Um, one of the one of the seminarians gave me the idea, and I went ahead and implemented the idea, and this was for April Fools, where the way it was set up in the seminary uh, for showers, where the showers were were public, they were shared, but they were but they had stalls. Okay. They had stalls and they had doors that closed and they locked, and the, and the showers had curtains, so you had privacy and you had a stall. Yes. And so what I did, uh, and I used to wake up early in the morning to go running, but before. I went running. I went in to the to the showers, and I turned them all on. Okay. I used cold water. You know, wasn't going to waste hot water. Turn, turn them all on. Close the curtains, and then I had my own towels and t-shirts, etc. And I threw those over the side oh. of the of the stall wall so people can <laughs> can see that oh, there's somebody in the shower. They think somebody's in there. Okay. And then I and then I closed I closed the gates, closed the the, the stall doors, and was able to reach over and lock them. And then I left. I went to go running. Oh, wow. And so then there was a long line of seminarians when I got back who were absolutely <laughs> furious <laughs> that these guys were taking a shower and they just kept taking a shower and they wouldn't leave, you know? <laughs> and so they were yelling at them, you know, yelling at nobody. I decided to stand in line with them with, you know, just kind of had a towel over my shoulder and just kind of stand in line and just uh, in, enjoy the drama. And, and uh, one of the guys was turning the lights on and off, you know, trying to get in to stop, yeah. you know, get in to get out of the shower. So. How how long did that last? Uh, it lasted all the way up to, um, let's see, it was probably about an hour, I would say. Some of the guys <laughs> just went to different floors and it wasn't until- They just gave up. They right? just <laughs> gave up. And so it's about, I want to say it was about uh, 20 minutes before morning prayer we had to be in the chapel. Uh -huh. um, and so one of the seminarian was still there waiting. And uh, and I stood there next to him and I said, and I just went up to one of the stalls and I unlocked the door and he's like, what are you doing? You know, and I opened the curtain. It's like, what is going on? There's nobody there. And then he realized <laughs> and he just broke down laughing. He just, he had a great sense of humor. So. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, good that he was, he was one of those that wouldn't have gotten really angry. Oh yeah, yeah. There was one guy that did not take it lightly, you know. Oh, really? I, yeah, yeah. He was, he was so angry. I was like, oh, well, yeah. Were there any other pranks? Oh, there was other. There were other pranks. I mean, there were uh, some guys would put stink bait inside of the air conditioning oh. system for someone's hall, for one of the hallways. I think it was just you know they were all kind of separate. Uh -huh. Yeah, they put stink bait, something that you use to catch catfish. Yeah. Yes. Oh. So they would do that. Um, How long would that last? Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't oh. even remember because they didn't do it to our hallway, thankfully. <laughs> okay. So it would last, but it would last a good a good amount of time. Um, that, that, for some reason, that's the only other prank. I think they might've put saran wrap on the toilets, so, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> there was an idea that someone had, cause I was in charge of the bells and, you know, the bells that would ring to let the seminarians know to go into the chapel, et cetera. And it, the, the controls for the bells, there was a box that we, you would use to time certain tunes, but it also okay. had a keyboard. And, um, this was the same guy that told me to, to lock the stalls. He said that would be a good a good prank. Uh -huh. But what he told me to do was to play uh, the Darth Vader theme from Star Wars <laughs> to wake everybody up. And uh, the, so the Empire March, the Empire yeah, March. Okay. And so, but I, I I chickened out. I chickened out. It was going to be me and another seminarian. We both chickened out. I was like, no, we're not going to do that. Did he end up doing it? <laughs> no, no, no. It just didn't happen. But anyway. Oh, so if there are any seminarians watching now, they, they might have that idea. Oh, maybe so. See if somebody's brave enough to. Absolutely. Hey, but don't tell them that it was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> so did you, did you prank any of the, any of the priests? Uh, any of we, the faculty? Yeah. Priests were kind of off limits, okay. you know, because they kind of evaluated whether or not we were going to move forward. <laughs> yes. I think the closest that we got to that was we had, we had what was called a uh, Newman's night so all, all the, the new guys who came in, uh, they can uh, put on a play or, or do something for the house, right? For entertainment. Uh -huh. And it's, it was kind of a tradition that we would just do a uh, impersonations of the faculty. And so <laughs> that's what we did. And so we had it where, and, I, and again, it's been a while, but I remember that we had a play where it was 
um, where the different faculty were members were being impersonated, but within the context of Bible stories. Okay. And so we would reenact Bible stories with this, with the faculty playing the different parts of the characters in the Bible story. <laughs> and so Jesus was being played by Father Brendan Cahill, and I was impersonating Father Brendan Cahill. Okay. And who's now a bishop in uh, Victoria. Yes. Um, so it's kind of funny to think about that. Another one was uh, <laughs> Daniel Flores, who's now a bishop in Brownsville. So we didn't realize that we were uh, uh, impersonating and embarrassing future bishops as we were doing that. So that's, that's the closest we got to, to poking at them. Yeah. But no direct pranks. No direct pranks. No direct pranks, at least as far as I know. The, actually, there's only one other thing. Uh, I, it was at Holy Trinity Seminary. And um, Monsignor Michael Duca, again, another bishop in Shreveport, uh, he was the rector at the time. Mm -hmm. And there was this thing that was out there, and it was before YouTube, So, it, but it was a video that you could download where it was just... Um, a vid, a very a, a still image of a house, right? It's like the inside of the house, and there's garden plants, and it's just a very peaceful scene. Okay. And what you do is you tell the person, just watch this scene, and watch what oh, happens. You know what I'm talking yes, about? It's I know classic. Yes. You can't even pull it on anybody because everybody knows. Yes. And then there's that the exorcist girl face yes. that goes out and the ghost that just the ghost that shows up and screams. <laughs> And so we did that to uh, Monsignor Michael Duca. Oh, he came no. into the computer room and he says, oh, oh, you, Monsignor, you got to see this. You got to see this. And so what, what? He's looking at the screen. He goes, oh, no, no, I, I don't like this. What is this? <laughs> and then the screen comes out and he jumped back a couple of feet and he, and he yelled, oh, wow. and he yelled, you know, and, and he's like, oh, I knew I wouldn't like it. And he walked away. But the other seminarians were, were just, were telling me, why would you do that? You did that to the rector. <laughs> you might've so, had a heart attack or something. Oh no, <laughs> yeah. You never know. You never know. And so, yeah, but it was, it, yeah, that's about as close as we got to pranking, at least for me, as close as I got to pranking a, a faculty One member. of the faculty. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah. I guess right among all of the guests that we that we've had, only one of them actually really pranked the oh, uh, really? faculty member. And I admit yeah. it was that no, was Father oh. Dad. Oh, Father Dad did he, one. He and his whole class put a statue of Moses into the restroom of one of the priests. I think it might have been the rector. Oh, really? They set it on his toilet. So <laughs> oh, that is funny. <laughs> And that's relatively that's relatively benign, you know. Yes, yeah. so they, they're not causing permanent damage. They could hear it. They were all really quiet, and they could hear it, uh -huh. and they could hear him scream. So they knew the exact moment that he opened the restroom that is door funny. and saw a statue looking at. Him. <laughs> that is too funny. So that's you, creative. So you and Father Dad are the closest ones. Well, oh, him and okay. his entire class. Oh yeah, his yeah, entire <laughs> class. Yeah, yeah. No, because a lot of times it's like uh, the other guys didn't want to get involved. You know, did, did um, you have some some guys saying you shouldn't be doing these types of things? Just just that one with the stall. That was it. Where I you know turned on all the showers, and that uh -huh. one guy got upset. You know, and so but that was one of those situations <laughs> where there was some friction between us. But but we're we're good now. We're good now. <laughs> did he you eventually know. become a priest? No, he actually left. He left and um, continued with engineering, and he's uh, from what I understand, he's married now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but the last time we saw each other, it was all good. And so, you know, just in you the heat of the moment. Of, you remind him about that? Uh, no, I didn't. I should have, though. Next time I'll do that. I'll say, do you remember when you totally flipped out because you didn't get your morning shower? <laughs> How many stalls was that? That, that? that was a lot of water, I suppose. Huh? It was three stalls. Yeah, I know. I, I was wasting water. I know. Um, but then again, it was cleaning out the pipes. I mean, you know, uh, you can say that. <laughs> 